Let's go ahead and shut down and see what's in the mats. Hey Graham, huh? come here. What's up guys, it's AJ from A79 Prospecting. We are back at our nugget hole and hopefully we're gonna find some big gold today. Now on our last episode, we were digging out here with my son and you know, ran about three, four class five buckets, not a whole lot. We found over a quarter gram of gold and a small nugget. Now we're gonna dig out our honey hole, store a couple buckets, run it through the trommel. Let's go ahead and get started. One of the things that's making me really excited about this area is all these big, heavy, iron-stained rocks I'm finding right at the bottom of the area we're digging here. If these heavy rocks are finding into the bottom, if there are any nuggets in the area, they should be on the bigger side as well. And what these rocks are doing is they're sinking and hitting this clay layer here. So it's this interface between the rocks on top and cobble and that's couple first inch or two or three of the clay, that's where the best gold is. So we're gonna be working this area all day today and hopefully we'll find another nugget. So far the modification seem to be working pretty well. Slowly feed the, the painter into the hopper. The grizzly bars are doing a good job keeping the bigger rocks out. And then the trommel's doing the rest, and we'll keep on going. This is kind of a nice, this is my view when I'm pouring the painter through here. You see, first I'm just kind of working the rock through here. Even though the material is kind of stopped at the hopper, the water can still flow over. So a lot of the material, the small material is just kind of working its way through. And then when I need to let a little bit more through, open up the grizzly, close it back up. Even with the grizzly down, there's still space underneath here. The gold container can keep going through. The other part that's working really well is this little plastic thing. It's kind of not to angle down a little bit so the water as it builds up falls back into the hopper, which is nice. And look at that trauma motor. It is completely dry. So that part's working out really well. Well, here's the rough area that we're going to be digging today. It's sort of a combination of three creeks. You've got a bigger creek there, a small one here, and a uh, bigger one over here. So the big low pressure zone is going to be right in front of me here. Um, and I know for a fact this area has been dug out pretty well. I did a couple test pans here, found a couple specks. Nothing too bad, um, but still, you know, we're looking at the creeks here and it's not in flood stage. So if you zoom out a little bit more here and think about it, you know, this whole area is a floodplain here. So I'm standing right now in a low pressure zone as well. So I suspect this whole area is a low pressure zone. So we just kept test panning, test panning, test panning, test panning, test panning uh, until we got right about here and this is where it started to get really good. We are continuing to get big rocks here on the bottom. Some bigger than others, but hopefully the gold down here will be big as well. We'll find out soon enough. Look at this, this is really cool. So you've got the rock that was sitting here and you see this, that the, the clay it was sitting on, this, this is good stuff, so we need to keep running this stuff. We gotta clear the big rocks to get to the good stuff. I found an additional benefit having this grizzly bar here. The water can still flow over it, so the hopper doesn't ever spill over if you put too much material in.
here's a bunch of tough clay material. Look at the look at the water jets here. Cleaning that stuff off. So it really helps break the clay down. That's nice. The good news is the long time setup seems to be working. The reason why I know it's working is I don't see any color down here. Nothing. I've been looking in between buckets all day. I'll clean this mat out separately in the end, but if we don't find hardly any gold here, then we know the upper sluice box is doing its job. All right, I'm gonna take you underwater now so you can see this hard pack that I've been talking about. So let's go ahead and shut down and see what's in the mats. Hey Graham, huh? come here. Well, I don't know if there's anything big, but I found one nice little specimen. It's probably, I don't want to call it a nugget, it's probably a picker. That's kind of cool. You can see it right there. Oh yeah, that might be bigger than you think though, you know? Yeah, it's got, well, it's a little specimen That's piece. That's cool. Well, I don't see any mega nuggets here, but I did find one, one little specimen piece. You can see that right in the middle of your screen, right there. That's probably, that's probably in uh, picker land. Don't think that's going to meet my criteria for a nugget. Uh, but the key is going to be what's under the slick plate here. So we'll get this stuff cleaned out and see what we can find. All right, well that frontal system I've been expecting today is coming through right now. So it's just starting to rain. I hear almost a thunder in the distance. So it's going to take us about 15, 20 minutes to get this stuff packed up. So I'm going to skedaddle. But we're gonna go home and get those cons cleaned up and see what else we found. All right, we got back home, had a little dinner, showered up, and then it worked on the cleanup, and it looks really, really good. Let's check it out. All right, that was an amazing clean out. Really, really nice. That specimen piece was awesome, and we found a nice little picker on top of that. So, really, really great trip. But we're not done yet. Megatron's just warming up for the season. I can't wait to show you this next trip <laughs> that we're going on. Our biggest cleanup in a long time with Megatron. We'll be checking out an area that I haven't been to in over a year, and we find some nice, nice gold. I'll have a quick little preview at the end of the video. You don't want to miss it. Uh, in the meanwhile, thank you everyone for your support. Special shout out to all my Patreon supporters. I couldn't do it without you. Uh, all the money we get through Patreon goes to buying new equipment, camera stuff. It goes a long way. <laughs> all the all the little, little stuff that goes into making these videos uh it really helps out so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it uh until next time peace out